Dual tremors of nature, when steamboat geyser erupted as earth shook in Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park has always been a land of paradoxes at once serene with sweeping valleys and forests, yet hiding beneath its surface one of the most active volcanic systems on Earth. The park's hydrothermal features are the most visible reminder of this hidden energy. Geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and fumaroles all testify to the enormous heat just a few kilometers below. But in a rare and striking coincidence, Two of Yellowstone's most dramatic forces of nature converged. The Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser in the world, erupted in spectacular fashion at nearly the same time as a measurable earthquake, shook the region. This simultaneous display of hydrothermal and seismic power fascinated visitors and puzzled scientists. Was it a simple coincidence, or could there be a deeper, physical connection between the shaking of the crust and the roaring geyser eruption? The eruption of Steamboat, a titan of the hydrothermal world. Steamboat Geyser holds a unique place in Earth's natural phenomena. Unlike Old Faithful, which can be timed with near precision, Steamboat is wildly unpredictable. It can remain dormant for decades, then suddenly enter an active phase, erupting dozens of times in a single year. During major eruptions, Steamboat blasts water and steam as high as 90 to 115 meters 300 to 380 feet, dwarfing most other geysers on the planet. When it erupted during this coincidental event, witnesses described a deafening roar followed by an immense column of scalding water, mist, and steam that towered above the surrounding lodgepole pines. The eruption persisted for more than 20 minutes, gradually giving way to a phase of thick, rolling clouds of steam that lingered over the landscape. Such eruptions are not only visually spectacular, but also represent the violent release of underground pressures that have been building silently in Yellowstone's complex hydrothermal plumbing system. The earthquake, a sudden jolt from the deep. Just as the geyser was sending superheated water skyward, instruments across Yellowstone recorded a small to moderate earthquake. Though not destructive, the tremor was significant enough to be felt by park visitors. Seismic activity in Yellowstone is common. The region experiences between 700 and 3,000 earthquakes each year, most too small to be noticed by humans. But what drew attention in this case was the timing. The earthquake occurred so close to steamboat's eruption that researchers began combing through seismic data to determine if there was a causal link. Did the quake help trigger the eruption by shaking loose underground blockages in steamboat's plumbing? Or was it that the sudden release of pressure from steamboat subtly altered the local stress field, nudging a fault to slip? Yellowstone's dual energy systems, hydrothermal versus seismic first glance, geyser eruptions and earthquakes seem like unrelated processes. One involves boiling groundwater flashing into steam, the other, brittle rocks fracturing deep underground. Yet both are driven by the same underlying source of energy, the massive Yellowstone magma chamber, which lies only 5 to 17 kilometers below the surface. Hydrothermal activity, rain and snow seep into the ground, circulating downward until they encounter hot rock heated by the magma body. This water is superheated under immense pressure. When pathways open, the water flashes into steam, producing eruptions like steamboats. Seismic activity, the same heat and magmatic intrusion, continually stress Yellowstone's crust, fracturing rocks and producing earthquakes. In this way, both processes are linked through the region's volcanic engine. The key question is whether they can influence each other directly on short time scales. Could the two events be connected? Scientists have debated for decades whether geyser activity can be influenced by earthquakes. Globally, evidence suggests a relationship. For example, major earthquakes in Japan and Chile have triggered changes in geyser activity thousands of kilometers away. 
Shaking can alter underground water flow, change pressure conditions, and even unblock clogged conduits. Dot at Yellowstone. Studies have shown that some geysers erupted shortly after strong regional earthquakes, including the 1959 Hebgen Lake quake, magnitude 7.3, and the 1983 Bora Peak quake magnitude 6.9. However, those were distant, large quakes. In this case, the earthquake was smaller and local. There are two main hypotheses. Earthquake first hypothesis. The seismic shaking disturbed steamboat's subsurface channels, allowing superheated water to escape violently. Eruption first hypothesis. The sudden explosive release of underground pressure during steamboat's eruption redistributed stress in the surrounding crust, causing a fault to slip and produce the quake. Without precise timing down to the second, it remains difficult to know which came first. A natural laboratory for Earth's restlessness. For scientists, Yellowstone is a unique natural observatory. Arrays of seismometers, GPS instruments, and hydrothermal sensors continuously monitor the park's subsurface activity. The simultaneous occurrence of steamboat's eruption and a local earthquake provides a valuable dataset. Researchers can compare seismic wave patterns, eruption dynamics, and timing sequences to search for subtle interactions that might otherwise go unnoticed. If evidence emerges of a causal relationship, it could reshape our understanding of how Hydrothermal and tectonic systems interact in volcanic regions. Such insights could also improve hazard forecasting in Yellowstone and similar environments worldwide. Dot the broader significance. Events like this capture public imagination because they underscore Yellowstone's volatile nature. While scientists emphasize that neither the eruption of a geyser nor a small earthquake signal an imminent supervolcano eruption. The coincidence highlights the immense and continuous forces at work beneath the park. Yellowstone is not dormant, it is alive, restless, and evolving. For visitors who witnessed the spectacle, the dual event was unforgettable. The ground trembling beneath their feet, as a geyser shot a tower of steam into the sky. For scientists, it was an invaluable reminder that Earth's systems are not isolated, they are deeply interconnected, sometimes in ways we are only beginning to understand. Conclusion, a dance of fire, water, and stone and dot the simultaneous eruption of steamboat, geyser and the occurrence of an earthquake in Yellowstone was more than a rare coincidence. It was a vivid demonstration of Earth's dynamic processes. It reminds us that beneath Yellowstone's beauty lies a vast, restless energy field where water, rock, and magma interact in complex and often unpredictable ways.